Hello, welcome to London. <laughs> Freezing cold London. I feel like the Michelin Man of so many layers. <laughs> Good to see you. It's an absolute pleasure to be able to interview and meet and get to know Marie O'Reardon, who's flown over from Dublin to London, mm -hmm. and we've flown over from Dubai to London, and I think we're both crazy because it's freezing. <laughs> But uh, we wanted to talk about today um, something really important in the proper being you section of Into Me I See magazine and it's pretty much exactly what you do. It's what you're passionate about and it's what you live for. Um, can you please tell us a little bit about the Forever Method? Yeah, sure. I think I'll start with a story if I may. Yes, please. And I was here in London yesterday. Uh, we went to... Um, an ATM, a pass machine to take out some sterling, some cash, because <laughs> we live in a Eurozone. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> for our sins. And uh, there was um, a grandmother in front of us with two boys, one on either side, to balance her out. And the little boy said to Nana, or his grandmother, he said, Oh, looking at the bank card and going, Oh, when can I get one of those? And she turned around to him and she said, And of course, uh, you know, you don't mean to eavesdrop, but you can't help but hear. And she went, Oh, when you grow up, you're going to get a job and you're going to earn money and then you get one of these cards so you can spend the money you get in your job. And I was freaking out inside at this point going, you know, it's almost like prep for a cult. <laughs> I love that, yeah, it's very true. <laughs> to get, you know, stuck in the, the idea that someone has to be working whatever, how many hours a week, Monday to Friday, stuck in the loop, the commuter loop. And it's like, I'm feeling so thankful these past few days because we're, we're tube brats, we're doing the tube. Easiest way to get around London. But when we're able to do that off peak and not be a commuter uh -huh. and stuck in traffic, I mean, you know, one of my family members, my, my, my baby sister, who's not my baby anymore, but my baby sister's been living in the UK since she was a teenager because she studied here. And she's a business here in Britain now as well, a very successful one, thank goodness. But. You know, she has been a commuter rat with her partner for years, and they spend anything up to three hours per day, sometimes maybe four hours a day, getting to and from places. And it's like I, I couldn't, I couldn't live like that. I've always said the best way to stop peak hour traffic in any city, peak hour traffic, peak hour commuting, is to just work from home. And it's, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm incredibly fortunate with, with the team that I have that that's how we base ourselves. Wherever we are in the world at that time, wherever we're staying, that's our global headquarters. Nice. So you can base it from wherever you are right now. And this week I've been, you know, I've been in, in touch with, with clients and prospective clients, uh, even since I landed here in uh, Canada, the Middle East, uh, Europe, Australia and, and it's there it, it's possible and people go oh yeah because it's not the traditional laid down route that I've gone people can't find it hard to to see themselves in that bracket and say oh I could never do that or whatever I worked with someone recently who's incredibly gifted when it comes to writing and they have a really really powerful gift in that they can write in the tone the tonality of the person they're ghostwriting for which is a massive talent it's like it's unbelievable I've never seen something like this before and you know she turns around to me and she goes oh but people won't pay me for, to do that and I'm going have you any I, one client see me here I, I mean she's <laughs> awesome she's awesome yeah. and we actually hopefully get to meet her in the next couple of weeks but it's like you know I, I I'm working now she has a basis and a foundation for a business now I'm working on the belief the business is there she just needs the belief to know that yes there are people all over the world crying out for this she's got dual passport um, citizenship she's got an Irish passport and, a, and a, an American passport because she was born in the United States of America one of her parents is American so she has like instant access right now if she chooses to go to the United States and have you know the, the the possibility of having a multitude of clients instantly but she's holding herself back but the big thing is as well doing something that she loves yeah and that she's very good she at she was born so to you, do this you've got the talent mixed with and the, and the, the education passion. the qualifications she's a total so the only thing missing is the belief 
that yes. nobody will pay her to do that. Is that what you're saying? Yes. And when you step out of the rat race, I mean, for many, many years, I worked in a job myself until I got out of that cult. <laughs> and, and I remember the day that that, that, that that I decided, and it was of my own free will, to get out of a very well-paying job in media. My mother on the phone says to me, well, what does it feel like to give up a good job? And I turned around on the phone and went, oh my God, fantastic. <laughs> and she thought I was star raving mad to leave the security or the, the cushion the or the blanket. Security is the big word. Security yeah, yeah. Is, is the word that um, is the most fearful thing, I think, for most people. So somewhere ra wrapped up in between uh, the belief that maybe nobody will pay is actually probably a deeper underlying yeah. Education system that is really pretty much just like that grandmother saying to her, her grandsons. Yes, you know This is the only way you can earn money. So this is the important part of where the forever method comes in Because we actually and I'm very honest about this We actually set you up for success and we set up the people you work with and who work with you for success so that is able to annihilate a lot of the insecurity and the fear and the danger. But what I'll say to people is I always encourage them to, if they're in a job, I never, I never encourage them to resign straight away. But I, I'm working with someone right now who's in a job and is about to leave their job. Their boss doesn't know that yet. <laughs> so they're working up their income right now. And as soon, I'm, I'm monitoring it with them. And as soon as their income is consistent and matches their current level of income, that's when he's going to resign okay so he's got that built up and then it's okay for, for, for his wife and child to feel okay this is this is okay this is going to be good okay so this is something that you've looked at in um, identifying what his strengths his, are he, his, his personality he, type is he's in a job right now that he fell into as a young man but his passion, his desire, his true gifts, his true talents, what he was born to do and what he's really bloody brilliant at is what he should be doing full time and he's getting there. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think it's interesting like when, uh, I guess we first worked with you as yeah. well and just so everyone knows, uh, one of the reasons why Infamy IC magazine came about is because of Maria Reardon and her partner Dr. Nisha O'Reilly. It was a session with them uh, working through the system of the Forever yeah. Method, um, being able to identify uh, what our individual strengths are as well as our passions as well as some a little bit confronting um, ideas that you know, we're, good the fist at, we're, came out. We're, we're good at things, <laughs> especially when, when Nisha said to me, um, you really should be writing and it's like I've been telling myself this story for so long that I just can't, which is why I want to meet this lady. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, the big thing is understanding, I guess, what those strengths are and being able to say, well, let's look at all avenues of your life, all yeah. elements and bring it all together to yeah. say, right, for me, I don't need to, if I was still in a job, I wouldn't need to build up my income to get to that point. Mm -hmm. I'm actually better off going out and getting it done straight away. It's different for some people. Like, exactly. like I, I have the personality type where I'm, I'm all or nothing. Go, yeah. stop. You know, yes, no, in, out. There was no in between for me and there was no other option. I was either all in or I was all out. Yeah. Not everyone can do that. No. And I'm very, very aware of that. And there's a huge fear factor for people. And I'll, I'll admit as well, one of the things that I was most fearful when I was younger was success. I was actually afraid of how big it could become. I think that's something that most people don't actually realize they have. It's like people hold themselves back. And I let my hands up. The biggest person that held me back in my career and in my life was actually me. I was afraid of the potential or where it could go. Um, and now, I mean, I, I was just there last night. And the stuff you forget that you've done. And I was there, you know, last night coming off of the tube after meeting you guys at an event. And um, it was interesting because I was just walking up the tube on the Piccadilly line and I suddenly realised last year I was lecturing with the University in London and, um, and I failed English in my final exams and I don't have a qualification or a degree but yet this major university had me in training their students and I went, I, I kind of, I mean with respect, but I kind of forgotten about that. And, and you, you, it's not that I take it for granted, I'm hugely privileged by the opportunities that I have, but sometimes you're clocking up experiences and you don't realize what they are. When I was 20 years of age, I got to broadcast as a journalist for CNN, and I didn't appreciate it at the time, I was too young. I look back now at 37 and go, oh my God! How did I do that? <laughs> how the hell did that happen? <laughs> yeah, so, so sometimes opportunities 
come your way and you don't really appreciate them till afterwards but that's okay because it's still part of your life experience your life story and you've actually done it so I think where we have the edge with people is we will never ever ask them for their their CV their resume I mean that literally that goes into the recycling bin straight away because that does not define who you are your job right now and your CV and your resume and your educational level does not define who you are because we work with people regardless of their nationality their cultural background, their geographical position on the planet, because the internet right now, this can be in person or online, and we literally throw all of what they knew out the window, which is scary for some people, and look at your entire life experience from even before you were born. And we challenge them to see, you are naturally brilliant at this, 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 yet you took a route and worked in that, 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 but hey, you were born to do this and we recognize it. We set up a system for success and a system for success with the people they work with too. So it's the generational effect. We're not looking at now, we're looking at long term, not short term. That's the forever method. That's beyond, the forever method. Beyond the now. And I'm a great believer in short term pain, long term gain. Nice one. <laughs> do you do fitness instructing too? <laughs> uh, I fired a, a, a personal trainer because they, they were, they, it was ridiculous. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, definitely not. I would not be your fitness instructor. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, that's amazing. Um, look, I, I've probably got a million other things that I'd love to ask and talk about, but to be honest, um, my biggest recommendation would be if anybody is thinking about or if you're watching this right now and you've had sitting on the back burner the idea of creating uh, another income or replacing your current income or any fear or anything you've had in your life about being successful, as Marie is saying, you might not even know that you've had that, uh, I highly recommend that you go and check out Marie at the forevermethod.com um, and get in contact. Now, the, the hardest part is that she doesn't take on everybody. Um, so it is a little bit of a... You know, you've got to be really passionate about what you're doing and it's a connection. Um, and Marie might not be the right person for you. You know, she might not be the right business coach and mentor and um, even laying out the system in, in the whole strategizing of that. But once they so, seek out someone that, that exactly. fits them, that suits them, because, you know, I'm, I'm very upfront about it. Not everyone gets to work with us. A lot of people contact us and with Dr. Nisha O'Reilly on the team as well, we very quickly see if there's an alignment or a connection or not. And, you know, we're very much into, into giving back too. So, you know, I, I've had clients and had TV shows made recently about clients who happen to make a, a lot of money in a short amount of time. But my focus was never on making the money. It was a greater security for them and their family. And a woman who even contacted me during the week to say that last year after working with me, she quadrupled her business and this year she doubled it again. And, and, and a financial um, advisor asked me the other day, oh, can you give me the financial breakdown of her success? And I'll contact him next week because I was so annoyed with his email, to be honest with you. And what I'll say to you is, my focus for her quadrupling and doubling again was not the money. It was actually so that she could go to the supermarket at the end of the week and not worry about the price for shopping. So there's a much deeper level that we work at that not everyone does. We're aware of the horrendous stuff that happens in our industry, the bad reputation that some people have given it, and we're very careful to align ourselves with the right people who are not money mad. But it's actually a greater meaning to do something nice with it and for other people. That's so true, it's so powerful. Um, yeah, thank you so much. You're welcome, thank you. It's been an absolute pleasure meeting you and of course meeting Nisha and hopefully we'll get her on video one day too. So, uh, and thank you. It's uh, Here in London it's about minus four outside, oh no, hence amazing. the layers and the hats. And, and I just uh, realised I only have one glove on but one that was, I feel like Michael Jackson at Whatever. the moment. <laughs> Thanks for everything. Thank you.